Good morning. Happy New Year. By the time this video is coming out, it is January. I hope everyone had wonderful holidays. I hope everyone is ready for a happy and healthy 2023. I'm currently in Amsterdam and it is rainy. It is gray. It just feels like real winter. I even made uh, a coffee this morning. I don't know what it was, but I'm very excited for today's video because I can finally announce that Soul Sync Kitchen is now live on soulsyncbody.com. I have been working on this future so hard in the last few months and I'm just so excited to finally share it. I feel there is no platform out there that actually provides fitness like movement with nutrition even though those two really go hand in hand. In today's video I am going to share my obviously what I eat today and those meals are part of the 10-day nutrition challenge. I created a 10-day nutrition challenge for January to really you know get going to get into the right direction if you find it hard to get started or to feel motivated or to stay consistent then this challenge is going to be for you i'm going to make everything easy for you from the groceries from the recipes meals you can reuse so you're not cooking too much um all of that i'm going to chat a little bit more about it after i make some breakfast because i'm really hungry i also need to get ready quickly and then um, yeah, I'm so excited. Oh my god, it is so dark. I barely have even light in the kitchen, it's crazy. Anyway. I'm going to make some banana oat pancakes and I think I've been making the same pancakes for over the last two and a half years. I was convinced there was not a better pancake recipe out there and there is. <laughs> this has been my new favorite one. Um, it's made with oats, banana and egg. The previous one was made with almond flour but I really really like this. So I am going to grab all my stuff. I'm also upgrading my kitchen appliances a little bit here in Amsterdam. Um, so I got this one from Smeg, a little food processor. And I also got their little frother. And I was first a little bit skeptical about it because it's really big. But it works really well now. And I think it's like really freaking cute. Yeah. Alrighty, let's grab the ingredients. This is my favorite pan ever. I use it for so many different things from curries to pancakes to eggs, like literally everything. It is from our place. I got a lot of DMs from a lot of Dutchies asking where this came from. They actually sell it on the Biocorp online. So you don't need to ship it from the US. They just have it here. I will link it down below. breakfast is ready oh my god this lighting is the worst anyway banana pancakes i have some red fruits i put some honey on top and i also put um, some quark on the side which is absolutely delicious so they don't have this in the u.s but it is basically a kind of a yogurt but it's like processed the same way as cheese so i would say it's in between a cheese and a yogurt um it's very like fatty but it's full of protein and it's really delicious with like pancakes, but obviously you can also use coconut yogurt, Greek yogurt or whatever. So yeah, this is breakfast, really delicious. I also got this new water bottle. It is from Target and Stanley collaboration and I love it. It's like the only way I actually drink a lot of water every day. 
anyway let's chat a little bit about the 10 day nutrition challenge about sourcing kitchen so the basically how it works i created a future on the soul sync body platform which is soon going to be an app as well where all my recipes from the past but also new ones are listed you can find breakfast lunch and dinner recipes uh, you can click on it you can find the actually tutorial video so you really see step by step basically how i make it in all my videos you will see the nutritional value you will see the like allergens you will see the ingredients list sometimes I recommend different types of ingredients let's say you have dietary restrictions or sometimes you don't have an ingredient you can just like swap it all the recipes are dietitian approved so we have a professional looking over them we have a professional really highlighting and showing why each recipe or which ingredients are healthy and beneficial for you also above we're showing like the carbs fat and protein ratio if you're new to nutrition it's sometimes really helpful to kind of use this as a learning tool i'm just like so excited that this future is finally you know live for you guys because i know that sometimes it can be annoying when you see one of my recipes in youtube or whatever to like find it back to go into the description the ads are there it's just like not convenient and yeah for january i really wanted to start with that 10 day nutrition challenge and to really do this all together to really i don't know almost like reset in a new year the 10 day meal plan is gluten free and can also be dairy free and i don't know i just like remember that when i had to get in shape before <laughs> before like the vs show or and when i just started modeling i found it so helpful to actually work on a meal plan i knew exactly like what i had to make it made it easier i knew i would get all my nutrition in and i don't know just like following it along is sometimes so much easier than coming up with all of these things yourselves because nutrition can be very overwhelming i just really want to make it easy for all of you so on Salsing Kitchen, uh, there's also a downloadable PDF. So here you can get an overview of the whole meal plan. All the recipes and dishes are listed out. There's a QR code on here. You can scan it and it will direct you to the recipe video. This can be almost like a really good tool to just print out, put on your fridge so you know exactly like what you're doing. The meal plan also includes a grocery list with two runs. So you know exactly when you're going to the supermarket, you can just like check it off and i am so excited a lot of the recipes are clean eating they're basically what i eat in a week and i know that all of you like just really always like love that like these are like my favorite recipes so you can head over to soulsinkbody.com become a member of the soul sink kitchen soul sink body community and join me this january in a 10 day nutrition challenge i am so excited my heartbeat is literally like going like this um yeah and this recipe you will find on there too so i'm literally dragging this thing everywhere with me it is 12 30 and it is lunchtime. So after for lunch, I want to make something like easy and quick. I love to do like eggs, a salad or a sandwich or something like that. Today I'm feeling a salad and I'm going to make a Mediterranean white bean salad. I love to incorporate like beans or chickpeas and things like that into a salad. So it's completely like vegan plant-based but it still has like the proteins and everything you really need. So yeah, that is what I am going to make. I hope I have the, I do. I'm actually, for the white bean, I'm going to use cannelli beans. I've recently really gotten in, into it and it's very delicious. Cucumber, what else do I need? Herb. Ooh, herbs. Guys, whatever dish you're making, you should always use fresh herbs. It just makes everything just so much better um i think i got everything so the one thing that a lot of people experience or say with healthy eating is 
that they say it is time consuming and it is all about finding these little hacks and tips and tricks that make it much easier and make it enjoyable so what i like to do for especially like a lunch or things like that while i'm chopping up a lot of things for a salad i'm actually making a two serving portion like a really big bowl and then i just put it in the fridge and i have also lunch tomorrow so i only have the cutting work ones i only have the cleaning ones but i have lunch or like a dinner twice and i think this is something like really important to kind of do and like the more you do it the more you will kind of like i don't know almost like get a feel of it but yeah you don't want to like buy every time like so many different ingredients and just kind of get overwhelmed with your fridge and every time do cleaning you know we're busy we're having work or you have a family or studying like we don't have all this time to cook but it doesn't mean you can always have home cooked meals so yeah i am going to cut up all everything make a big salad Okay, so here I have the big bowl with salads. I have the beans, tomato, cucumber, olive, red onion, and feta. I am also going to add some of these fresh herbs because it just makes everything so much more delicious. And then we're going to stir it. It's literally only here at the window. I have a tiny bit of light, but it's just, it is so dark and rainy. Anyway, I made lunch. I'm gonna show it to you next to the window. It is a Mediterranean white bean salad. It is super delicious. Some protein there. You can honestly also serve this with like a hard boiled egg or some avocado. I think that would be really delicious. So I have a whole double portion of this and I just put it in the fridge and tomorrow I will have another lunch ready without any preparation. This is something we also build into the meal plan where you're cooking only once and you're eating it twice. And it is honestly, it's such a time saver. <laughs> Life saver too, time saver as well. Christmas came early for me. I just went to the knife shop or like a cooking shop and I got myself a really pretty knife. I got a little small one and a really big one. Honestly, this will make cooking so much easier because my knives here were really bad quality and just rusty and old, but look how pretty. I'm so happy with them. So pretty. Pick me up matcha. I actually made a matcha latte, which I don't do often, but I was craving something sweet. So, go. Mm. So good. Alright, friends.
friends it is 5 30 p.m so dark outside and i am going to make some dinner the best part about all of this is that i just don't really have to think about what i'm making because it's already there we're gonna eat some salmon for tonight and i'm actually making a double portion so then one's cooking and i have some tomorrow with a salad as well i bought some bio salmon i always try to get proteins like high quality we're gonna eat salmon with broccoli and some rice i'm going to steam the broccoli in this pan and then i made this miso marinade already yesterday you can find the recipe uh, with the step-by-step -step on sauce and body um, but yeah this is already made for today so we're gonna put that on there And I'm going to put some of the furry kake. It's kind of a, it's sesame seed, seaweed, and it's a delicious topping for any rice. So yeah, this is it. Honestly, the taste in this recipe is real little miso salmon. It makes everything and it's just so simple. I literally made this in what, like 10 minute prep time and uh, 20 minute cook time. It's great. Elan was here in Amsterdam last week and we started watching White Lotus season 2 and I kid you not guys, I can't stop watching it is so good and it's so fun so that's what I'm gonna do enjoy dinner and watch some White Lotus definitely if you're looking for a new series like you have to watch it it is so good, I can't stop watching the episodes are like an hour long so once I watch something I just get like freaking hooked but it's amazing. So it's getting cozy here. I'm wearing white, very smart when I'm eating here. Ugh. Alrighty. And I'm making a little dessert. I'm gonna have some tea and then I'm going to have some of the vegan matcha chocolate from Nekohama. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's what I eat in a day. I hope you got some inspiration. And again, I can't wait for all of you to join me on this 10 day nutrition challenge. Head over to soulsandbody.com, sign up. You can also start a free trial. So if you sign up and you feel ah, it's not for you, or if you're not enjoying it, you can just cancel it within seven days. I am gonna have my little dessert and then I'm gonna go to bed because I'm really tired. So don't forget to subscribe and see you guys very soon. Bye.